In this video, we're going over one crucial tip for every ultimate. Ultimates are the most important abilities in Valorant, and whether you use them right or wrong can easily define games. Timestamps for each agent are down below. And now, let's get into it. Breach's Rolling Thunder can stun any player caught in it. It makes clearing whole sites very effective by reducing the opposing team's capacity to shoot back. Our advice for using Rolling Thunder is to ensure you get your maximum value out of it by covering areas that enemies would fight from, instead of areas that you want to push. For example, on Fracture A site, a normal stun and flash combination can very effectively clear pretty much the entire site without the need for his ultimate. So instead, try using his ultimate on those players playing off site, the ones closer under drop, sands, or CT. That way you can catch the players trying to prevent you from getting onto the site that aren't on site themselves, mostly since the site itself is relatively easy to clear. So, focus on using your ultimate in the area where you think the greatest threat is presented, rather than necessarily just the area you're pushing. The Orbital Strike is a strong beam that Brimstone directs which descends from the sky and covers an area 18 meters across. It's best thought of as an ultra-strong molly. It does damage over time, but it is really avoidable if enemies aren't stuck or stunned. One great use for the ultimate is to use it to hold other ultimates hostage. A Killjoy will be hesitant to put down her ultimate if she knows it will be instantly broken. And similarly, a Sage won't want to resurrect if she knows their teammate will instantly die. So even though we'd normally recommend using ultimates as soon as possible to get as many of them as you can in a half, sometimes using it as a deterrent can be just as good. The Tour de Force is the first weapon ultimate on our list. It's a golden operator Chamber uses that has a total of 5 bullets. There isn't a whole lot more to the ultimate, so our best advice is to use it as soon as you get it. If it's an eco round, you'll have a weapon that can really turn the round winnable, and otherwise, it's just a free operator. By using your ultimate as soon as possible, you can really build up your team's economy and use it as a tool to win more rounds by having it more frequently. Cypher's Neural Theft gives perfect information on enemies' locations twice after a brief wind-up period and a gap between the two scans. The best advice we have for this ultimate is to be very careful shortly after using it. Any enemies that are nearby will be eager to swing before the reveal pops, so be extra alert and don't let your guard down while waiting for it. Use your ultimate and get ready to fight because the storm's on its way. Before we continue with Fade and the rest of the roster, I'd quickly like to mention that if you're serious about improving, we also have a website, with exclusive guides made by the best pros in the scene, more coaching, and even boot camps. For just $8 a month, you get access to everything. Try it out. The ultimate ability our terrifying Turkish tyrant Fade uses is called Nightfall, and it creates trails that lead to the enemy as well as decaying their health and deafening them. A good tip to remember is that last part in particular. When Fade's ultimate goes off, the enemies can't hear you coming, so there's no need to shift walk or play too slowly. Take free license to maximize your movement and run enemies down, and the same goes for omens, raises, and jets of the world. The enemies can't hear your teleports, satchels, or updrafts, so get on some off angles and surprise your foes. The Reckoning or Harbor's ultimate covers a giant area that slowly stuns enemies over time. Our tip for using this ultimate is not to rely on the stuns, but use them for information instead. There's an indicator above where the stuns land, and so there will always be info on where the enemies are. Just remember that they'll be forced out of corners and peeking out from those corners, so get ready for a fight. Jet's Bladestorm has an immensely high skill ceiling. She gets 5 knives that are perfectly accurate irrespective of movement and can one-tap at any range. A great way to use movement with these knives is by using Jet's passive glide ability. And we don't just mean after updrafting either. When taking fights, jumping and holding glide can throw off opponent's crosshair placement, and it could cause them to whiff as they try to spray you down. The Null Command, or KO's ultimate, sends out pulses over a wide radius every 3 seconds, and any enemies caught in it will have their abilities suppressed. A good way we found to use KO's ultimate is to take advantage of the fact that when he's killed while using it, he doesn't die but merely goes down. That paired with the fact that he has great flashes for entry makes him a great candidate for going in first to a bomb site. If he does go down, his Null Command pulses continue to radiate outward, suppressing enemies, and he can still see his surroundings making him perfect for info as well. So if you're using your KO ultimate, be sure to go in first. Killjoy has an ultimate called Lockdown, which covers a circular area 65 meters across, and after 13 seconds detains anyone still in the area. It's an excellent ability for clearing out sites and taking control of places on the map with little risk to your team. Our tip is to check the ultimates that the rival team has to make sure they don't have any hard counters to your lockdown. Ultimates like Sova's, Brimstone's, and another Killjoy's can render your lockdown useless by either destroying it or counter-ulting so that your team can't take space either. Neon's Overdrive allows her to shoot lightning accurately from her fingertips while running at high speeds. The constant quick movement makes her a hard figure to hit while she's hosing people down with the ultimate, but there is a way to make her movement even better. Neon's rechargeable ability called High Gear is a slide that she can use to quickly peak angles and displace crosshair. By using her ultimate, her High Gear ability immediately recharges meaning that she'll have another one ready to use with no delay. 
This means that by sliding and immediately ulting, you're able to slide again effectively double sliding and making your movement almost untrackable even by the best of aimers. Try it out and watch enemies empty their mags trying to tag you. From the Shadows is an ability that allows Omen to teleport himself anywhere on the map. It's generally considered to be a less useful ult given the volume of the teleport which alerts enemies to it pretty quickly. However, there is one instance where it really holds its own. Omen can ult on top of a spike if it's been dropped and pick it up without fully committing to the ultimate. That means that he's able to retrieve the spike and cancel the ultimate from anywhere on the map, which can be excellent for those tricky situations where the bomb is under enemy control. Simply go over to the bomb site you want to plant on, which will probably be clear since the opponents are holding the spike, ult onto the bomb and instantly cancel and there you have it. Phoenix has a powerful ultimate ability called Run It Back. It essentially acts as an extra life wherein he pops his ultimate and places down a respawn anchor. Then he is free to fight enemies as he pleases for 10 seconds, after which he returns to the area he first used the ability from. Even being killed while using this ultimate just returns Phoenix back to the spot where he used it from, with full health and with the same amount of shields he had when he started. Our tip for this ultimate is to get it as frequently as you possibly can. A Phoenix ultimate only costs 6 ult orbs, which is joint lowest with Cypher and Reyna. That means that you can use it extremely frequently for risk-free entries onto sites or to clear out areas. It's incredible for taking space and getting info, so farming orbs to maximize the number of times it's used is heavily recommended. The Showstopper is Raze's ultimate and features a huge rocket launcher which deals AoE damage, capping at 150 for the closest to the ultimate. When combined with her satchels for movement, it's a fantastic ultimate for clearing out corners and getting free kills on the other team especially when taking or retaking sites. The trouble is that there is quite a long pullout animation on the ultimate which can delay its use. But there is a solution. Throwing a satchel immediately after deploying the ultimate cancels the animation and causes the ultimate to pull out much faster. It's best used in a double satchel combination, so throw your first satchel, pop your ultimate, then immediately use your second satchel, and there you have it. A nice quick raise ultimate to jump on your enemies with. Empress is the next ultimate on our list and it belongs to Reyna. Reyna is statistically the most popular agent to play in ranked, yet there are a lot of people using her ultimate in suboptimal situations. Empress grants Reyna a kind of a stim effect, where all her actions except her movement are sped up, including fire rate. After every kill, her health gets restored to full automatically, and dismissing with her orbs causes her to go completely invisible with the only indication of her location being a sound cue. A good lesson we've learned with her ultimate is to use the orbs sparingly. It can be tempting to dismiss to reposition after every single kill, and in some situations it's a very useful tool to avoid being traded out. However, it pays to remember that even though you're safe from enemies while dismissed, they also know they're safe from you and can use the time you're dismissed to close the distance and surround you. So only dismiss when you really need it. Often, it's better to just be ready for the next fight without it. Sage's ultimate is probably one of the most well-known and strongest in the game, called Resurrection. She can revive killed teammates who, after a short animation, are back in the game with 100 HP. Our advice for using Resurrection is to not be afraid to use it as a tool to bait the other team into peeking. Your opponents will likely want to kill the revive player as soon as possible, but to do so they'd likely need to peek. At that moment, you can try to use the revive as a distraction to kill the enemy. Your teammate might not make it, but you're in a better position in the round than you were earlier. And as Lord Farquhar said, some of you may die, but that's a price I am willing to pay. Sky Seekers are green cabbage jellyfish things that automatically lock onto three nearest enemies and travel towards them. If they reach the targets, they cause a nearsight and slow effect, making the opponents very vulnerable. Most of the time, opponents successfully break the cabbages, making their effect most unreliable. We found that the best time to use Sky's ultimate is for information in the mid or late round situations when making decisions on where to go. By identifying the location of the nearest three members of the other team, you can make decisions on where to rotate as a defender to fight, or alternatively where to push as an attacker to avoid the opposing team. Using the Seekers in the early round while far from useless ultimately doesn't hold much value that a normal drone could, so hold on to it for when you really need information in a pinch. The Hunter's Fury is Sova's ultimate ability. It allows him to shoot three large beams that deal 80 damage each through walls to hit targets from a distance. It pairs excellently with his dart and drone as he can direct his ultimate at revealed enemies to take them out from a distance and secure a free kill. For the opponents, it presents a dodging game where you have to move back and forth to get away from the beam trying to take you down. With your knife out, this game is kind of easy, but it becomes a lot more difficult if you have enemies running at you. In short, use your ultimate in tandem with your execute. This gives the reveal two options, die to your ultimate or die to your teammates. Viper's Pit covers a large area in toxic fumes that gives any members of the opposing team a decay effect, ticking their health down until it reaches one. It can effectively shut down entire sections of the map by presenting risky terrain for the opponents to explore. The major downside of the ultimate is the limited range of vision that you have while in it. To counter this, Vipers can look downwards at the ground to increase their range of vision by about a meter and a half. 
This can give them the edge that they need to see the other player first and fire off that all important first bullet and win the gunfight. So for the only time, don't have good crosshair placement and look at the floor instead. It'll win you fights. Astra's ultimate is called Cosmic Divide, and it's a wall that stretches infinitely high and long. Bullets can't go through the wall, but abilities can, and any noise that comes from the far side of the wall is muffled. The best use for the ultimate is to use it for retakes. People tend to think of it as a way to stop enemies from pushing a site, and it can work, but it'll just mean that they turn around and rotate to the other site. By using it as a tool to retake, the attackers won't be able to hear the bomb being tapped very well, and they won't be able to shoot at the diffuser. So as long as your team is holding for any enemies that are trying to push through, it should be a free diffuse. The final agent on our list is Yoru. His ultimate called Dimensional Drift renders him invisible and gives him a speed boost to travel around the map as he pleases for 12 seconds. While in this state, he can use utility and pick up or drop weapons. One tip we have for using this ultimate is to use your flash and clone ability before coming out of it. That way, enemies who hear the loud audio cue could easily confuse your clone for you in a hurry and give you a free kill in an improbable area. And there you have it, one tip for every single ultimate in the game. If you have a tip of your own, let us know in the comment section. If you're still here, make sure to leave a like and thanks so much for watching.